Let me encourage you on today. When you are trying to break generational curses, when you are taking the road less traveled, honey, let me tell you, it's not easy. You have to be resilient. You have to be able to stay grounded. You got to stay close to God because you have no direction on where your life is heading and he is your compass. On this road, people are going to people are going to just fall out of your life, child. Let me tell you. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. All you doing is God's will and they just going to disappear. That's why you got to be able to build yourself up in here. Because they're going to laugh at you. They're going to they gonna talk about you. They're going to doubt you. They're going to call you crazy. And that's okay. Because this is the process. You are being molded. And you got to be very, because this is a very crucial and this is a very critical time for you. And you got to watch it when people project their opinions on you and tell you where you should be and how you should be. It is not their timing. It's God's time. Let me come, come, come closer. Don't mistake my process for my success because God is not done with me. It's supposed to look like this right now. It's supposed to look crazy right now because the product is not finished. You're still being molded. Let me ask you this. Are you able to stand firm when they don't follow you like you thought they would? Can you be bold if you're the only one in the room? Are you able to encourage and uplift yourself when those comments start rolling in? What if those comments start starts complimenting those insecurity thoughts that played in your head? Can you keep it pushing? You got to have this kind of attitude. Let me tell you. I don't care what you think. I don't care what my family think. I don't care what my friends think. I will continue to do what God called me to do. But that's an exclamation point. Okay. I don't care if you fall on your face or your back or your side. You keep it pushing. You get your butt up and you get to moving and you fight for another day. Don't quit. If you know that you know that you know, don't quit. God loves you. He really, really, really do. Thank you for allowing me to pour this tea of love, inspiration, and motivation. It's your girl. Yes. Yo, homie. TT. Y'all tune in next week and see what God going to do because I told you. I have no idea, but this I do know. It's not supposed to happen fast. If it happened fast, it wouldn't last. I heard a great man say this this week. Think of it this way. When you slow broil something, when you slow cook something, if you smoke something overnight, it has a richness and flavor that you just can't get in a microwave. Learn to endure the process and if you don't remember nothing else I said you better not quit be blessed